Precursors are characteristic wave patterns caused by dispersion of an impulse's frequency components as it propagates through a medium. Classically, precursors precede the main signal, although in certain situations they may also follow it. Precursor phenomena exist for all types of waves, as their appearance is only predicated on the prominence of dispersion effects in a given mode of wave propagation. This non-specificity has been confirmed by the observation of precursor patterns in different types of electromagnetic radiation microwaves, visible light, and terahertz radiation as well as in fluid surface waves and seismic waves. History Precursors were first theoretically predicted in 1914 by Arnold Sommerfeld for the case of electromagnetic radiation propagating through a neutral dielectric in a region of normal dispersion. Sommerfeld's work was expanded in the following years by Leon Brillouin, who applied the saddle point approximation to compute the integrals involved. However, it was not until 1969 that precursors were first experimentally confirmed for the case of microwaves propagating in a waveguide, and much of the experimental work observing precursors in other types of waves has only been done since the year 2000. This experimental lag is mainly due to the fact that in many situations, precursors have a much smaller amplitude than the signals that give rise to them a baseline figure given by Brillouin is six orders of magnitude smaller. As a result, experimental confirmations could only be done after technology became available to detect precursors. Topic: Basic theory. As a dispersive phenomenon, the amplitude at any distance and time of a precursor wave propagating in one dimension can be expressed by the Fourier integral f x t equals one two pi. Zeta carrot zero Omega EXP minus I K Omega X minus Omega T D Omega Display style f x t equals frac one two pi int hat zeta underscore zero omega exp left i left k omega x omega t right right d omega where zeta carrot zero omega Display style hat zeta underscore zero omega is the Fourier transform of the initial impulse and the complex exponential exp minus i k omega x minus omega t Display style exp left i left k omega x omega t right right represents the individual component wavelets summed in the integral. To account for the effects of dispersion, the phase of the exponential must include the dispersion relation. Here, the k omega display style k omega factor for the particular medium in which the wave is propagating the integral above can only be solved in closed form when idealized assumptions are made about the initial impulse and the dispersion relation as in sommerfeld's derivation below in most realistic cases numerical integration is required to compute the integral 
Topic Sommerfeld's derivation for electromagnetic waves in a neutral dielectric assuming the initial impulse takes the form of a sinusoid turned on abruptly at time t equals 0 display style t equals 0 f t equals 0 t 0 sin 2 pi t tau t 0 display style f t equals left begin array rl 0 and t then we can write the general form integral given in the previous section as f x t equals minus 1 tau e minus i k omega x minus Omega T D Omega Omega two minus two Pi Tau two Display style f x t equals frac one tau in t carrot i k omega x omega t frac d omega omega carrot two two pi tau carrot two. For simplicity, we assume the frequencies involved are all in a range of normal dispersion for the medium, and we let the dispersion relation take the form k. Omega equals Omega C one plus a two Omega zero two Omega zero two minus Omega two Display style K Omega equals frac Omega C SQRT one plus frac a carrot two Omega underscore zero carrot two Omega underscore zero carrot two Omega carrot two where a two equals N Q two M E zero Omega zero two Display style a carrot two equals frac and q carrot two M epsilon underscore zero Omega underscore zero carrot two N Display style N being the number of atomic oscillators in the medium Q Display style Q and M display style M the charge and mass of each one Omega zero display style Omega underscore zero the natural frequency of the oscillators and E zero display style epsilon underscore zero the vacuum permittivity. This yields the integral f x t equals minus one tau exp minus i x omega c one plus a 2 omega 0 2 omega 0 2 minus omega 2 minus omega t d omega Omega two minus two Pi Tau 
2 Display style f x t equals frac one tau int exp left i left x frac omega c sqrt one plus frac a carrot two omega underscore zero carrot two omega underscore zero carrot two omega carrot two omega t right right frac d omega omega carrot two two pi tau carrot two to solve this integral, we first express the time in terms of the retarded time. T equals T minus x c. Display style T equals T frac x c, which is necessary to ensure that the solution does not violate causality by propagating faster than. C display style C we also treat Omega display style Omega as large and ignore the 2 pi tau display style frac 2 pi tau term in deference to the second order Omega display style omega term lastly we substitute she equals a 2 omega 0 2 2 c x Display style she equals frac a carrot two omega underscore zero carrot two two c x getting f she t equals minus one tau exp minus i she Omega plus Omega T D Omega Omega two Display style F she T equals frac one tau int EXP left I left frac she Omega plus Omega T right right frac D Omega Omega carrot two Rewriting this as F she T equals minus one Tau exp minus i she t one omega she t plus omega t she d omega omega Two display style f she t equals frac one tau int exp left i sqrt she t left frac one omega sqrt frac she t plus omega sqrt frac t she right right frac d omega omega carrot two and making the subst. Attutions Omega T she equals E I K D Omega Omega equals I D K D Omega Omega two equals I T she E minus I 
K D K Display style Omega SQRT frac T she equals E carrot ek Q quad frac D Omega Omega equals I D K Q quad frac D Omega Omega carrot two equals I SQRT frac T she E carrot ek D K allows the integral to be transformed into F she T equals minus I tau T she exp minus two I she T cos K E minus I K D K Display style F she T equals frac I tau SQRT frac T she int EXP left to I SQRT she T cos K right E carrot ik D K where K Display style K is simply a dummy variable, and finally, f she t equals two pi tau t she j one two she t Display style f she t equals frac two pi tau sqrt frac t she j underscore one left two sqrt she t right where j one display style j underscore one is a Bessel function of the first kind. This solution, which is an oscillatory function with amplitude and period that both increase with increasing time, is characteristic of a particular type of precursor known as the Sommerfeld precursor. Topic: <laughs> Stationary phase approximation based period analysis. The stationary phase approximation can be used to analyze the form of precursor waves without solving the general form integral given in the basic theory section above. The stationary phase approximation states that for any speed of wave propagation x t display style frac x t determined from any distance x display style x and time t display style t the dominant frequency omega d display style omega underscore d of the precursor is the frequency whose group velocity equals x t Display style frac x t v g omega d equals d omega d k omega d equals x t Display style v underscore g omega underscore d equals left frac d omega d k right underscore omega underscore d equals frac x t. Therefore, one can determine the approximate period of a precursor waveform at a particular distance and time by calculating the period of the frequency component that would arrive at that distance and time based on its group velocity. 
In a region of normal dispersion, high-frequency components have a faster group velocity than low-frequency ones, so the front of the precursor should have a period corresponding to that of the highest frequency component of the original impulse. With increasing time, components with lower and lower frequencies arrive, so the period of the precursor becomes longer and longer until the lowest frequency component arrives. As more and more components arrive, the amplitude of the precursor also increases. The particular type of precursor characterized by increasing period and amplitude is known as the high-frequency Sommerfeld precursor. In a region of anomalous dispersion, where low-frequency components have faster group velocities than high-frequency ones, the opposite of the above situation occurs, the onset of the precursor is characterized by a long period, and the period of the signal decreases with time. This type of precursor is called a low-frequency Sommerfeld precursor. In certain situations of wave propagation for instance, fluid surface waves, two or more frequency components may have the same group velocity for particular ranges of frequency, this is typically accompanied by a local extremum in the group velocity curve. This means that for certain values of time and distance, the precursor waveform will consist of a superposition of both low and high frequency Sommerfeld precursors. Any local extrema only correspond to single frequencies, so at these points there will be a contribution from a precursor signal with a constant period, this is known as a Brillouin precursor. <laughs> 